What is up friends, welcome back for another movie reaction. Very excited for today's, which is Uncut Gems. I've been hearing so many great things about this movie ever since it first released, and so I'm excited to be able to finally check it out with you all now. The biggest thing I think I've heard is just how good Adam Sandler is in this movie, because obviously he has had a history of some more goofy roles and just not really stellar acting performances, I guess you could say in some people's eyes I've usually enjoyed him for the most part and what I've seen him in but definitely haven't seen him in too many dramatic roles and so I'm excited to see him in something different with this one and I have seen the filmmakers other film or at least one of their other recent ones which is Good Time with Robert Pattinson and I thought that one was pretty well made and so I'm excited to see if there's a lot of similarities with their directing and filmmaking stuff style in this movie and if it's anything like that one I expect it to be pretty relentless and stressful too. And I believe one of the other actors that I know that's in this movie is Kevin Garnett which I feel like I've seen his name back when little TV sponsor stuff were playing and so that's a very surprising cast member if that is the case because usually you don't see too many NBA players showing up in films so I am curious to see what his role is as far as the plot goes I don't know a whole lot I believe that Adam Sandler might be like a jewelry salesman or something like that because I've seen some screenshots of him holding up some jewelry or something like that but other than that I don't really know much going into it but I am looking forward to it and hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and of course you can check out the full-length reaction to it all my Patreon link for that is in the description below, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Uncut Gems. Oh, bro, that is one nasty injury that guy had right there. I feel like anytime I see stuff about people working in a mine or something like that, the conditions always just look so terrible. Looks like something shiny right there. I'm not sure if they found something they were expecting to find or if this was just a surprising discovery. I love that shot right there, just zooming all the way into it. I can't quite tell what that was. It looked like a mix of an emerald and whatever the blue one is called. Is that like opal or topaz or something? You didn't bring him any water? I'm Where's good on this water? water? This is our own spring water. I gotta tell you, I'm in a bit of a rush because I gotta, I gotta get- What did I tell you? I said no water. Oh gosh, dude, that's the customer and he's treating Howard like that? What in the world? Are they running some sort of shady business dealing with these kind of people? Doesn't exactly seem like ideal clientele. What about this? What's this? This is not mine. <laughs> Watch, take, take. Oh, interesting. So did he owe those guys something? That's the only thing that I can gather because they're just collecting all this stuff from him. The watch they took from me, it's worth $20,000. I want that deducted from the hundred grand. You understand? Call me back. So based off that line, he owes him a hundred grand. That is a huge debt to have. That is for sure. No. Putting Benny rude. to sleep. Oh, Benny. here we go with the I'm lie. I'm not lying. You're so manipulative. I'm on the floor again. I'm exhausted. Oh my gosh, dude. There's so much stress already. Just constant tension with everybody he's interacting with. If he gets to the store before I do, you, you just keep me. Kevin Garnett is coming to my showroom right now. Right now. Okay, interesting. So Kevin Garnett himself is playing himself. I guess I thought he was just going to be some other character, but that makes a bit of sense. Okay, look at this. A package from Fish Tonic. We want Bring this. Bring it in. Bring it in. Go to my office. KG, don't you dare leave, okay? What's in this package is gonna blow your mind, KG. It's not gonna be what we saw them dig up in the beginning, is it? He's certainly hyping this up a lot right now. Howard, hello? I'm standing here, man. There's a lot of people I could be doing business with other than you, Howard. 
<laughs> it looks to me like he did get it. Holy crap, what a find. At least I'm assuming what a find. Is KG gonna want that? Because it's not exactly cut up and ready to display. Where do these guys get precious black opals? That's what that is. The black opal? I do my research. These guys live near the whale o mines, which primarily is red opal. Okay, so I actually got that right in the beginning. Opal was the right specification for it. I don't exactly know how much that is worth, but I'm guessing a lot. They say you can see the whole universe in Opal. That Yo, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's a million dollar Opal you hold. A million dollars? Oh my. That is way more than I was thinking. He's certainly going to be able to pay all his debts with that. I need this. That's not for sale. What do you mean it's not for sale? It's set for auction. I I, I can't. What? Would you show me something if I couldn't have it then? Oh, that feels like a big mistake right there. I thought he was doing it just to sell it. I'm gonna destroy Philly tonight with this. Uh, uh, right, right. I can't just yeah. give me uh, give me the self the grip. I want the right. Oh, come on. Oh. Hey, that's fair right there. Gotta have something to guarantee he's gonna get it back. I feel like a lot could go wrong. I trust KG though. Look at this. It's Kevin Garnett's 2008 championship ring. Championship ring? All right. You want to pawn it or you want to I'm sell it? I want to pawn it. I want to pawn it. Let me take a quick look at All right. it. <laughs> Oh, this madman, what? He's just straight up selling the ring. Don't tell me that what we saw before was like a fake or something and he was just doing this all to get some stuff from him so that he could pay his debts. $21,000, 7% fake. And I want you to know, say you'll be back Friday. If you're not back Friday, it's my ring. All right, do we have a deal? All right, deal. <laughs> a great shot right there. Those people are keeping a close eye on him. He better get that money very, very soon. Wait, I just got a text from him. What's he saying? It's a picture of money. He says, Arno. Money. I got your money right here. Well, I guess that's a good sign right there if he's able to pay him. Because those guys look like they are serious when they said before they were going to kill him. I want to make a six-way parlay. Celtics, Sixers game. What's the line? Still plus one. Plus one. Okay, so I want the Celtics to cover. I want the Celtics halftime. I want Garnett points and rebounds. Oh, I see what he's doing now. He just wanted to pawn off Garnett's ring so he could get more money to bet. So he he could earn more because he actually believes Garnett's gonna kill it and then he's gonna go back and get the ring. I see. Howard, Benny's waiting for you. Did he brush his teeth yet? Brush his teeth? I, I sent you seven texts in the dark. Howard. Yeah. It's the first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> she does not realize that basically his entire life is riding on Garnett's performance. Seems like Howard is just constantly focused on his work and everything. Doesn't give much attention to anybody else. You know what? I'm tempted to wrangle the kids downstairs right now and get it over with. I thought we, we both agreed that we wait till after Passover. Next you'll be saying you want to wait until after the summer. Oh shoot, man. So that's why she was being kind of pushy with him before. Is they're basically already divorced. That's what I'm gathering or they're planning on it, I mean. I guess that means he's covering his bets right there. That is big time, man. He risked a lot and he definitely got the high reward. Dude, it's so gorgeous. I just hit so big. I hit so big. Oh. He's getting a lot of wins right now. He won his bets. He's got the girl or a girl, not his wife, but life is good for him at the moment. Where's the fing old? Garnett got it. All right. Call him up. Call him on the phone. Let me talk to him. Okay. Call him right now. He's at practice. Oh, dude. Garnett just straight up is keeping it. No way. He's going to be so screwed if he doesn't get that back. Are we going inside the facility or are we going to meet him out here? It's just chill. Go. Well, I hope we see Rhonda one there. I'd love to tell him thank you for dropping all those dimes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. He is amped up right now. He's definitely a lot to handle at this point. What's up? Oh. No, no, no. I'm with him. Come on. I'm with him. I came with him. Uh, you saw me walk through the door. Your, no, I didn't see you walk through the door. What's your no, name? No, I won't What's be on a list. What? He's not getting played by Damani too, is he? Or was he just tired of his energy right now? We're not, we're not doing anything this year. Oh, really? Wow. 
That's not like you guys. Yeah, how come? Howard, how come? Howard. Everything okay? Howard. Oh, dude, Howard is locked into his work. I can't blame him when there's a million dollars on the line. It looks like he hasn't gotten a response in a long time, though. Hey, we're all That's making fun. Hey, who tap? Nice. Wait, what the heck? Oh, dude, that was such a clever way to show him initially. He is being watched like a hawk right now. Yo, what the heck, man? Why is he just booking it out of there right now? Obviously, he attacked him, so he's pushing his luck, but he didn't think they were prepared to straight up kill him right there, did he? I'm broke right now. You broke? Which level? Look at that. That is money that's not mine that I sent to you because I wanted to calm you down. <laughs> Oh, he is not going to get any leeway at this point, I'm betting. He's not full of all those happy emotions anymore. Taking my money all over town, placing bets. You know what that does to me? You stop the bet? What do you think, asshole? You stop the bet? Oh, no, dude. That sucks so bad. Are you kidding me? What a turn of events. Oh, that ruins everything. And now he doesn't even have the opal either. Arno, listen to me. Listen to me. Arno, Arno, Arno. Arno. Get in the car. Take the you opal. No, no, I want the underwear. No. No, 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 no. Oh, this poor guy, man. I mean, he got himself into some of these situations, but the only hope he had left was ruined right there. I locked my keys in the trunk of the car. Can you please, uh, can you come to the parking lot and open it for me? Oh, she is not gonna like what she sees right there. He's gonna have a lot of questions to answer. It's okay. Thank you. I'll meet you right back inside. It's all good now. <laughs> oh, man. And she doesn't even say anything to him. I mean, I gather that she's kind of done with his crap anyway. Where's my job? I'm trying to help you Where? everything up. I, I have it on right now. Okay, you going to this weekend thing tonight? No, I could. You could? No, it's not you could. You will. Man, I hope that he's telling the truth about having the gem because if he runs off with this, Howard is left with nothing. No, I asked for black light. I'm not performing until the black light on the stage. Put on the black light! Yo, what the heck, man? She's got ultimate VIP access right there. Any movie can be made a bit better by having some weekend music in there. Give me the album. Yo, oh, 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 I'm wet. I got you. Come by the shop anytime you want. Where? What'd you say? Where is it? I'm sorry. I don't have it. Are you kidding me, dude? He's lying to him so much right now. I also love the lighting and how his jacket is so radiant. We gave it to him. Calm your ass down. What do you think this is? You good? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, dude. This is so frustrating for him right now. How the heck is he gonna meet up with KG again? I don't feel like there's any other reason to see him, and Damani's obviously not helping him. What are you doing? Julia, what are you doing? No touching. No touching. So bad. <laughs> oh, well, I guess she's doing a little bit more than just taking pictures for him. Howard can't even have a healthy relationship with her. This man's absolutely lost it, just straight up wailing on the weekend himself. This is insane, dude. You smell like his cologne. Right, right. Get blue, a huge spell for me! <laughs> There's a whole lot of yelling right now. I mean, the way their lives are going, I can't blame them. Get the away, go fuck it. Oh my gosh, dude. So much explosiveness. A lot can change in just a short amount of time, especially between those two. Never mind. 
Please tell me he's got the opal. He needs a win right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Right there. Go ahead. God damn it. Hang on. Sorry. Oh, my dude. This movie just cannot let us have a moment without stress. Why, of all times, does it have to not work now? And get ready to buzz, okay? Oh, my God. And hit it from the side. Get rid of this. I'm trying to get. Oh my, there is so much happening and compiling at once. This is the most unfortunate timing I've seen in a movie in a long time. Listen, make a bid. Make a bid at when the is auction. It? When? It's Monday. Monday. Nah, Tell him to come to... Let him let 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 it there for a couple of minutes. I can't. I'll hold it Monday. You get I it back. Get get it. It. Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> they still haven't managed to get the door open either. He made a big mistake showing him this item. Go get my ring, man, so I can get up out of here. Get him his ring. You got the dupe. He's got a game oh, ring. Oh, oh my ring. God, no, I left the ring in Long Island. Oh, I totally forgot about the ring as well. I was just thinking about the money when it came to the bet. That is so messed up. I can't believe it. And the fact that they stopped the bet, he can't even buy the ring back because he's broke. What have you been telling him? What the f are you talking about, Howard? Look, I, this is how it works. I bring this here to you to buy jewelry. That's how I get Okay, right. A lot of nerve. Oh, I see. He's still got it back. I thought KG was just gonna leave with it. I guess that's good. I'm really sick. I don't feel well. I got I out of bed. I see you in a big to rush to come over here, I'm huh? Really, really you got yourself a smoothie? You're out of the apartment by the end of the day. Oh my gosh, dude. Even if he manages to get this opal sold and everything, it feels like it's all for nothing. It's just consumed his whole life and ruined all his relationships. Devour. Pestilence. Scheme. Boils. Barat. Hail. That guy is giving him the stink eye right now. Everywhere he goes, he's got somebody who's got a problem with him. I don't know, what the f Can we just talk? We're family. We're here right now. Get out of my way. Oh, that's Arno. I didn't recognize him initially, of course. Dude, that makes the dynamic so much more interesting, knowing that he's actually family. So what do you uh, think it's worth? Listen, it's it's uh, anywhere from 1000 to $3,000 a carat, and it's 600 carats. Oh, that's over a million dollars. I don't know if that's a good thing to be dropping those numbers in front of Arno right now, but maybe he actually thinks he's going to get paid back at this point. I wanted to talk to you for a minute. We don't have to do it here. We'll, uh, we'll wait, but I, uh, I, uh, I'm having very serious second thoughts. Now that Julia's out of his life, he wants to try and make things right with her, of course. <laughs> I know. What? Your face is so stupid. <laughs> Nice, dude. Just absolutely flamed him. I like it, though. That's got to be a good sign if she's laughing. You know what, Howard? I think you are the most annoying person I have ever met. I hate being with you. I hate looking at you. And if I had my way, I would never see you again. Oh, my, dude. That is harsh right there. Not necessarily undeserved. I would have been very surprised if she had agreed to get back with him. What the is this? This is a mistake. It's this, a correction. It's a correction, but it's a fucking mistake. Where, where's Anne? I want to speak with her. I'm sorry, Anne is in a meeting right now. No, that is a huge underestimation if what he said is accurate about it being a million dollars. This is fucking outrageous. Why the fuck am I hearing about it now? Do I, mean, I need to remind you that you brought the opal to us on a Friday night for an auction set on a Monday morning. With oh, this is so bad for him. And now it looks like he should have just done the freaking KG deal if he's going to get more from him than he is at this point with the auction. So I want to ask you a little favor. I need you to jack up the bits. What? No, I, no, no, no let's, absolutely not. No, gooey, a little bit. Here we go. He's always using other people, whether favors for them or their money, to try and get his own gain. And it's never worked out for him so far. I doubt it's going to work out now. And most importantly, it is windowed on either side to reveal the full spectrum of its dazzling color and the pinfire pattern with it. Oh man, we better hope that KG actually goes all in on this. We know that he's got the money. I mean, I know he's got the money. Got that NBA player money. 
100 grand. 100,000 now. Bid with you, sir. And a great place, a big, bold, giant leap. <laughs> now Arno's in the room too. Literally everybody that's an important player is hanging out in the same spot. This could go bad. So any further bidding? 110,000 now. Welcome back, sir. 110,000 now. Once again against you, sir. Should we try 120? 120 now. Oh, they're getting into a bidding war. I mean, the price is going up. Once they get to his original offer, though, is he going to decide not to do it anymore? KG, that is. $190,000 is bid. You want to move this up any higher, any further? You sure, sir? Last chance. No! <laughs> Oh no, dude, I knew that was going to happen. He just screwed somebody else in his family. What is he doing? Oh, dude, I'm literally sweating. That was so intense. Your money's going to go into my account. I'll wire it right back to you. It's Including like it never happened. 20%. Absolutely, it comes right out of my pocket. That is nearly 38 grand, Howard. Oh, and he's just got himself into a whole nother situation. He can't pay anybody back. Oh no, that's listen to me. That's why are you being so thick-headed? Oh my gosh, dude. He is just a mess right now. I love the music right there, too. Just escalating. Hey, sorry to bother you. What is it? I just wanted to see how the auction went. Terrible. I don't, I, I don't want to talk about it. Well, at least she doesn't seem too upset at him right now, which is good. But maybe she's trying to get back with him at this point. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know. Everybody's not ever going right. I know, I know. That's about time he let some emotions out like that. He'd been bottling up so much stuff. I don't have any place to go. I don't have anywhere to get better. But you do. You're my home. You could come to me. I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I feel for him with him being this sad, but a lot of the stuff is his own mistakes. Hi, yes, I got your message from Damani about the gem. We're at the bank right now. Does he, does he want it? Yes, yes. Kevin's still interested. Oh man, I cannot believe it. This man is still somehow going to get some money out of this. Still gonna have debts though, a few at least. You're with my emotions, you're just playing with me at some point. This hasn't been straight since I came here. You know, I show up at the auction, you had somebody bid against me all these games. Oh, he's wised up. It's amazing that he's still going through with this deal at this point, <laughs> the way that Howard's been playing him. Straight up, me and you, mano mano. How much you pay for this? I paid a hundred grand, okay? So you doubled your money. A million dollars is what I was supposed to get. Dang, a hundred grand is very small compared to what he was hoping for. I'm not a an athlete. This is my way. This is how I win. So look. Let's bet on this. <laughs> Oh no, he's going into more bets, what the heck? He better actually win this time, and he's got his own money at least. What is this? There's a bet in that bag. I want you to take all of it, all of it inside the bag and place it on that bag. How much is in the bag? <laughs> Man, I love the way they're doing this, having to act all secretive about it. Howard, where's the money right now? It's on the way right now, it's on the way to the casino. What, what the are you Honey. talking about, Howard? <laughs> oh, man, good thing he got the money to her because there was no way that he was getting out of this room. Even if he wins the bet, though, I don't know if he's going to survive until then. No way. He's going to leave him trapped in there. That's definitely one way to keep him occupied. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. There's a gas leak on Pinno. Oh, so they're evacuating the uh, the whole block. Just slow down, okay? So get the kids out of there, right? Oh, smart move. He's got to protect his family. That would make sense that they would go after them. It's about one of the few ways you can get him to do something. I'm betting on the Celtic parlay three-way. How much you want on it? Okay, I'm not really sure. You're just going to have to... Oh, okay. Well, the money is there. All that's in question right now is KG's performance. He better freaking deliver. He's got his lucky opal, though. Say the whole ticket. Go ahead. Okay, so it says here... You having a good time? Yes. 1,229,000... <laughs> that is...
is an insane amount. He will absolutely be able to cover all his debts and then have some left over. He better freaking win right now. For this big three era of Garnett, Pierce, and Allen. That's a long way off in terms of... Get down! Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. We're on the board. This is awesome. I know he didn't bet on it, but I know the Celtics win this game. I don't exactly remember what Garnett's numbers were, though. I have a great idea after halftime, okay? What's that? I'd like you to come up to my room. I hired the chef. I'm in Penthouse, and I got mm. you. It's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of eyes on her right now. She's got a lot bigger things to focus on, though. What's going on? Need help? Thank you so much, man. Oh, I thought he saw her there for a second. I guess we're not fully out of the woods yet. Hopefully, they're on board with his plan. Now it's not like they can stop him. All right, last present. Let's go. Get it. Pick it up. All right, that's it. That's it. Shoot that. Come on, K! Shoot it! Shoot it! Ah! <laughs> Let's go, man. KG's dominating right now. Three times in one day. I mean, no, I unbelievable. Know. I, 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 keep it, I believe it's you. Where's your boy? Why don't, why don't we watch the uh, game? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Go ahead. Hey, she's a quick thinker, too. This is definitely the place to be right here. I don't think they're going to search for her in here. Push it! Push! Push it! Push it! Go! Oh man, <laughs> these guys better freaking start believing he made the right move because it's looking like it right now. Don't let him shoot that. Get that. Get that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Howard, did we just win? Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. You love to see it. I can't believe it. Against all odds, he won over a million dollars after all. I love you. I love you. I'm so happy. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, man. You won. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the secret nobody ever knew about that playoff series right there. Is that KG played well because of a gym. Oh, no. This evil genius, right? What? Dude, are you kidding me? I can't believe what I just saw right there. That came out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. What is going on, man? This is the most insane ending, dude. I actually thought he was going to get out of this with some wins. What happened to her? He didn't just take the money and go, did he? She's not dead too. My pleasure. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just bringing it to her. That's smart because the other guys were waiting for her to pick up the winnings. At least she got that, but what the heck, man? gosh dude love that shot but i can't believe he's dead what a freaking shocking moment to just throw at us like that and then it just ends no way bro <laughs> that movie was insane that ending is one of the most wild i've ever seen i don't even know what's gonna happen with the money because is julia gonna get caught as well or is she just gonna use it herself just hiding for the rest of her life because those other guys i assume are going to go look for her. might be hard to find her though i guess when you get in that life and mess around with those kind of people then you can't trust that anything is ever going to go as planned that was very very well done though from a filmmaking standpoint an acting standpoint i can definitely see why people talk so highly of adam sandler's performance because he was great in this I feel kind of exhausted right 
right now after watching that, to be honest. The movie really drains you in a good way, though. But man, very, very good film. Well, the Safties are definitely filmmakers to watch going forward. I don't know if they've done anything else besides this and Good Time, but I'm definitely going to be looking forward to whatever they come out with next because both of those movies are very adrenaline-filled, stressful experiences, and I feel like that is exactly what those movies are intended to be, is just experiences, because obviously, in this case, with Adam Sandler's character of Howard dying at the end, the entire movie and essentially everything he did ended up being for nothing and there's not really any closure per se there's not a happy ending or anything i feel like the best part of this movie is that it just gives you an absolute thrill ride and grips you from start to finish and it definitely leaves you with a pretty heavy feeling by the time it's over and it definitely makes me never want to do any sports betting or NBA betting at least with the wrong people because I don't want to end up like Howard in this and also with the character of Howard he is definitely a very interesting main character because he's not your typical protagonist he's not really that likable of a guy and yet you're still very invested in his story and at least for me I was very invested in him having some success there especially at the end in order to just kind of resolve everything that was going on with him but Adam Sandler did a phenomenal job with that role because he makes you kind of get invested in that character with his acting and obviously the filmmaking does a great job in kind of sucking you in and making you almost forcing you to root for that character just because you want to be relieved from the stressful situations he keeps putting himself in and so a very abnormal experience for sure as far as characters go but I like it I like the uniqueness and I'm also very curious to kind of look into the story a bit more and the behind the scenes stuff if the Safties had any sort of hidden meanings in there or anything like that because it feels like there could be some stuff like that in there if you dig deeper obviously you have the theme of greed and stuff throughout and I feel like there's a lot of stuff that focused on people's eyes whether it's shots or anything like that but from a technical aspect I thought it was a very very well done movie all the camera work I thought was great and the editing especially the way they moved from scene to scene I know I mentioned it a lot I thought that was very well done and the lighting throughout was super well done definitely one of my favorite aspects of it whether it was kind of the very bright and almost vibrant nature of it but still kind of bleak and had a very blue almost gloomy overtone throughout the film which kind of obviously matched the outlook for Howard's character through most of it even up until the very end and so I feel like there's a lot of things in there that they gave some careful thought to when filming and just creating the overall experience but I don't know how much else I have to add right now because I'm still just kind of recovering from that ending and trying to wrap my mind around everything but hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for that one I'm looking forward to your thoughts and your comments about this if you did enjoy the video definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps it reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and of course you can check out the full-length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below but until the next movie I will see you all later peace